Hi, my name is Damodar Banotkar, Technical Marketing Engineer at Cisco. As users and devices are getting more mobile, we are moving towards an all wireless office. But a failure at the network core or a data center can have a significant impact on the wireless services and applications. Keeping this in mind, Cisco recently launched the client Stateful Switchover. This is the most advanced redundancy solution as it provides zero downtime in case of an active controller going down. To study this in action, we'll perform something called as the kitchen sink test, where we have different clients running different applications all on wireless. Let's see this in action. For Cisco infrastructure, we have a couple of Cisco 5508 wireless LAN controllers running code 7.5, which are configured in an active standby pair. In addition, we also have an AP3600, which provides wireless access to the clients. For the kitchen sink test, we have four different clients running four different applications. Starting from the left, we have a laptop running Citrix VDI, followed by an iPad mirroring to an Apple TV using AirPlay, then a laptop on an active Microsoft Link call, followed by an iPad on an active Cisco Jabber call. On the top right corner, we have the standby controller console to monitor the failover events. Now let's shut down the active controller to simulate an active wireless network outage. As we can see from the console, the switchover has occurred, but we had a minimal impact on the wireless applications. Following Cisco's lead, Aruba launched the fast failover technology in Aruba OS 6.3. Let's see how Aruba fares in the kitchen sink test. For the Aruba setup, we have two Aruba 7200 series controllers running code version 6.3 configured in fast failover mode. In addition, we have an AP225 providing wireless access to the clients. On the top right, you can see the console for the standby Aruba controller. As we can see, the standby IP address is shown up in the AP database. Now let's switch off the active controller and see the impact on the applications. As observed, Apple AirPlay is the first one to react, followed by Cisco Jabber, Microsoft Link, and then Citrix VDI. Now the application recovery time depends on how latency sensitive this application is. In case of Aruba Wireless, it ranges from 10 seconds for something like Cisco Jabber to almost 30 seconds for Citrix VDI causing a major impact to end-user experience. We verify that the AP has roamed by confirming the active controller IP address in the AP database. To summarize the application foil over times, we observe that Cisco Client SSO has minimal recovery time as compared to the Aruba Fast Failover. In addition, Aruba also has a secondary redundancy solution which is based on VRRP. The application failover time for this technology ranges from 8.3 seconds for Cisco Jabber to almost 19 seconds for Citrix VDI. One of the reasons for the elongated application recovery time on Aruba is due to the fact that the clients need to re-authenticate with the standby controller. With Cisco, since the client state is synced between the active and the standby controller, reauth is not needed anymore. As we've seen today, Cisco delivers the most reliable wireless network by providing zero downtime for both clients and applications. Thank you for watching this video.